Here we are back with more Bronco Sport news. So it looks like the Bronco Sport has been spotted out testing with basically no camouflage on it at all. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna compare it to the spy photos that we saw of the Bronco inside the studio. And we're also gonna talk about the two different Broncos because there's been a lot of confusion about that lately. And then talk about the trim levels and the spec. So let's not talk about this global CV joint issue which is happening and causing a lot of people to stay inside because their CV joint is broken like mine and I'm stuck at home and hence I've got this new set so let's hang out together and if you like this content please go ahead and subscribe. So what's really interesting is that these photos, these these leaks I'm gonna call them, seem to be very very convenient. As you know Ford has delayed the announcement of the Bronco and so we have these leaks and for the first time it looks like there's really no camouflage on these vehicles. There's no body Body cladding, there's no foam or anything like that, there's no fake stuff on it. It looks to me like this is just a wrap. Now let's talk about convenient for just one second and why I think these are incredibly convenient. It's because these photographs were taken on a professional camera, specifically a Canon EOS 1D X Mark II with a 28 to 300 millimeter lens. And where were these taken? Well, if you look at the background of these photos, you can see it's this near the sign, the Holly State Recreation Area, which is in Michigan. And it's about 60 miles away from Dearborn, where Ford headquarters are. So, hmm, I'm thinking this photographer might have had a little bit of a heads up, don't you think, of when this vehicle might be driving by for these very, very nice professional photographs? Let me know what you think. Coincidence? Now, a couple days ago, I posted a video and I talked about the different trim levels that are gonna be available on the Bronco Sport. This is the Bronco Sport, by the way. The Maverick name is probably not gonna happen. So there's a base model. I don't think they're gonna call it base. My guess is SE or SEL, according to the normal Ford nomenclature. Then there's something called Big Bend, Outer Banks, Badlands and first edition. I'm guessing that these go up in price and these are probably going up in trim levels as well. All of them are going to be four by fours. We don't know if it's permanent or you'll be able to disengage it. My guess is you'll be able to disengage it, but we don't know yet. And it looks like there's gonna be two engines at least at the introduction for the Bronco Sport. There could be as many as four engines, but pretty sure there's gonna be two. Again, based on some leaks that I found, or rather that I reported on in the last video. I'm gonna link that last video over, over here, actually. Now, I wanna clarify something because Ford hasn't done a very good job of clarifying. In fact, everything is still hush-hush, although this is the worst kept secret in the world at this point. So there's two different Broncos coming. They're actually really completely different other than the name and the front grille, which is pretty similar. So this one that we're talking about in this video, this is the Bronco Sport. It was previously referred to as the Baby Bronco, but now we know it's gonna be called the Bronco Sport. It is based on the Ford Escape, the existing Ford Escape. Now, the Ford Escape is not the smallest SUV in Ford's lineup. It is the second smallest SUV, CUV, crossover vehicle, whatever you want to call it, in Ford's lineup. And so the wheelbase on this is probably going to be 106.7 inches long. For reference, the Ford Mustang is about 107.1 inches. So that sort of gives you an idea. The wheelbase is very, very similar to a Mustang. If you think that's short, if you think that's long, that's sort of up to you. But that's probably what the wheelbase is gonna be. Now the Sport is very different than the mid-sized Bronco, the body on frame Bronco, the more off-road capable Bronco, the macho hulking Bronco where you can take it to extreme trails and stuff like that, like we've seen in the videos from Johnson Valley, the videos that Ford put out a little bit earlier this year. So about two weeks ago, the internet went kind of nuts when these were released. There was a whole drama. Ford had some of the photos, requested some of the photos be pulled down from some of the sites, but this is, this is a leaked four-door the mid-size Bronco, which is going to be based on the Ford Ranger, the pickup truck. Ford refers that to that as a mid-sized pickup truck. So this is quite different. The daddy Bronco, the bigger Bronco, the mid-sized Bronco is going to have most certainly a removable roof and probably gonna have some different engines as well. Now this is the four-door and I just wanted to show you a two-door render. There's probably gonna be a two-door available too. In fact, I would rank that as a certainty. We're gonna get a two-door also, 
So that's what it looks like in a pretty sweet blue with the hood closed. I'm, I'm kind of digging this. So a lot of people are looking for news and information on this Bronco. And sorry if you've come to this video and this is about the Bronco Sport, I report it as we get it. So that's pretty much it. And for the people that say, hey, it's clickbait, I didn't get the information I want. Hey, this is all unofficial news. Ford hasn't confirmed anything yet. All of this could be completely wrong, although I don't think that's the case. I think this is relatively accurate based on what we know so far. You now this midsize Bronco, the best information that we have, it's probably gonna have a 2.7 liter EcoBoost, which makes about 325 horsepower and 400 pounds feet of torque. That's pretty good, that's pretty powerful. There's also probably in the base version of that, or the lower versions, a 2.3 liter EcoBoost making about 270 horsepower and 310 pounds-feet of torque. That's a four-cylinder. The 2.7 liter is a six-cylinder, a V6. They're most likely both gonna have a Ford 10-speed automatic, 10R80 10-speed automatic, and it seems very likely that we are going to get a seven-speed manual as well with a low-speed crawler gear. It's a very interesting transmission that's made by Gatrog Ford. It has the capability of working with a hybrid system too, even though it's a manual. Very, very cool. Very excited to see that. I don't know that we're gonna see the uh, mid-size Bronco with a hybrid. It's certainly very likely. Ford has said they have committed to hybrids and electrification. So we're gonna have to see how the different powertrains play out in these two different Broncos. Now for everybody that says, I need a V8 Coyote with a manual transmission, I gotta have it, otherwise we're not gonna buy it. Hey, you don't have to buy it because the rumor is that there isn't going to, that we're not gonna get that V8, that Coyote engine right out of the gate. Perhaps not at all. There is no rumor about a Coyote engine. I'm not saying it's not possible. Anything is possible. But if you read the comments carefully on my videos and you kind of poke around with the insiders and I am in touch with some insiders, there's no credible rumor of a V8 coming, at least not right now. Of course, the people that I speak with and the people that you see reported in other places, their sources could be absolutely sworn to secrecy. We could have a V8 coming and it's just impossible to say, but the rumor isn't strong. If you look at the Bronco R, the off-road test vehicle that Ford put out, the promotional vehicle in Johnson Valley, that almost certainly has the 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine. So yes, I agree, it is a little bit confusing that we have these two Broncos and they have the same name, but you know, Ford and their naming conventions, I'm not a fan, personally, quite frankly. The only thing they have in common, probably, I think, is the front grille and these really distinctive, really cool headlights. And I know people are complaining that they, some people like the headlights, some people don't, but these headlights harken back to the original Broncos, the ones from the 60s, not so much the later ones from the 80s and 90s with the square headlights. These are the original style headlights, and I think they look pretty dope. Okay, so in terms of engine choices with this Bronco Sport, we are most likely gonna get two, at least at the outset, a 1.5 liter EcoBoost, three cylinder, it's called the Dragon, it makes 180 horsepower, 177 pound feet of torque, it's about 26 miles per gallon city, 31 in the Ford Escape. This engine is made in Mexico, and I don't think they're gonna all of a sudden start a plant in North America to start making that, that's just my guess. The two liter EcoBoost engine, which is a four cylinder, makes 250 horsepower, 275 pounds feet of torque. Towing capacity in the Escape 3,500 pounds. This is aimed at the Jeep Renegade. Now here's a quick video. This actually came out a couple days ago, but people didn't notice it until today for whatever reason. And we've got the Bronco in very little, you know, trim. Could be the same vehicle here, although it's hard to say. Now this is next to a Ford Explorer. So in terms of the wheelbase, the Ford Explorer is a 119.1 inch wheelbase. Pretty big vehicle, right? The Bronco, 106.7 inch wheelbase. That's a 12.4 inch difference in the wheelbase. So people were saying, hey, it looks kind of big. It looks almost as big as the Explorer. This video was shot on a cell phone. It's clearly shot from a pretty good distance uh, looking at the amount of grain in this video. It's pretty grainy. If you use a cell phone and you max it out to like 6X, it doesn't look that good. So we get some uh, optical distortion. We get some foreshortening. So the fact that the Bronco is in front and the Expedition, or rather the Explorer, is right behind it makes them look like they're kind of similar in size. I don't think they are. I think that the Bronco is actually significantly smaller. It's gonna have a lot less space in the back. 
and it's got a lot less overhang too. If you look at the over amount of overhang in the rear, it's very, very short, which is good. Same thing in the front. That's good for what you call angle of approach and angle of departure when you're off-roading. It helps you clear obstacles when you're coming up uh, on an object and you're, you're sort of entering that area. And then when you're exiting that area with the obstacles and um, large bumps and things like that, it helps you basically not get hung up on the terrain. Now, I was kind of curious about these spy photos that we saw in what appears to be a studio, a photography studio. I think these photos that were also on bronco6g.com, go check them out. These are probably a photo mule, for lack of a better term. It's a, a photo subject because tires are kind of shiny on it. And you can see there's a reflection of this light rack in the background. But comparing the two, the wheels look to be the same. We've got a, a marker in the front bumper. The front bumper is blacked out. That looks to be the same. In, the, in both of these, we've got these, these fender flares, I guess you could call them. They are both blacked out. The roof is blacked out too. In fact, we have a very clear view of the roof on these new on-road photos. They're very, very clear. The headlights look the same. I think I mentioned them before. I think they look pretty dope and we can see that the A and B and C pillars all kind of line up too, and we have the little notch in the fender ahead of the door, that little black element there too, and so we have all these different pieces that all looks pretty much the same, so I think those photos that we saw about two weeks ago, I think those are completely legit. Looking at the front, the side, and the rear, it all looks pretty similar to me. Here are some colors that someone on a Bronco 6G put together as possible color schemes for the Bronco. I think there's quite a few good ones here. I'm definitely hoping for a good blue. I really like lightning blue. That's my personal favorite. Let me know what you think of the styling of this Bronco Sport. Is this a vehicle that you're interested in and you would consider buying? Let me know down below. So working from home, I am going to open up my merchandise store soon. I've got a limited number of these. I'm going to make them available pretty soon. I'll let you know when. I'm also considering uh, going live on YouTube, maybe every Thursday night or Friday night, something like that. I'm going to do a little poll of what is a good time for people to do that. Hey, there's two videos up on screen. Pick one if you want more news on the Bronco and other future vehicles. My name is Eric, and I will see you in the next video.